Ugh. I want to smoke, but I know I got to wait. How we feeling, man? How everybody feeling tonight? Hey, it might be 240 where you at, man, but we still up. I'm still moving. Werewolf hours, man. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody, by the way. start oh my god <clears throat> yeah I know get over it I love you too get over it man we here we on we rocking I'm going to start this one off with just saying I didn't condone none of this shit. None of it. I don't like the way any of it went down. And disclaimer, no, it's not my fault. It ain't my fault, man. That had nothing to do with me. This clusterfuck of a second round or whatever it was, it had nothing to do with me, man. I thought I felt a tiny bit, just a small smidgen of badness for Kelpie till I start hearing some of the things or the reasons of why he did what he did. Hearing him talk about provoking people, you know, um, that's trash to me, man. That's trash to me, man. And it, it kills me. It saddens me, for real. To hear people or watch people. Like, man, clout is a drug. It's a drug, man. It really is. Like, people don't even care. This boy told three, four different stories. He was asked some of the same questions and told different scenarios to each one. Nobody, nobody points this out. You talk about the police raiding you, taking things. They're taking money. They're taking whatever, narcotics, whatever they're taking, right? And you're telling me all they did was leave you with a piece of paper? That don't add up to me. Why didn't you go to jail with it? I know anybody, anybody I've ever known has done anything, done went to jail with they shit. 
How is it they just gave you a piece of paper and then you never heard from them again? It just don't make no sense to me. Why ain't you go to jail, bros? They took you with nothing. You talking about 20,000? A whole bunch of all this little mixtures of, of this and that and you got to stay behind? No, nah, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I done been through my fair share of troubles, man. And I ain't never got to walk away from anything that I've ever been like in the mix of, dead smack in. I don't give a fuck how much talking I do. I don't give a fuck what I try to say to them. I might as well just shut the fuck up because I know I'm going. I don't, I don't, I don't think he, look man, because I'm not here to bash nobody. It's just not, a, this isn't about to be a, we're not about to bash anything. I'm just trying to get down to the facts here. The meat and potatoes of the situation. Motherfucker. I'm trying to get down to the meat and potatoes of the situation here. I don't think he was. I don't think he's the police. I don't think any of that. I really just think that he's a misinformed kid, man. He's just a misinformed kid. That's it. He think he's doing the right thing for some exposure. He's took a piece of my he's took a piece of my story. He's took a, a piece of other people's stories and he's trying to mold them all into one, mutate them into what he wants it to be. I see the whole game. I see them from the time it started. You know, I don't deal with uh I don't deal with gang politics. I don't get in the mix of none of that. That don't be having nothing to do with me at all. I don't got nothing to do with you won't hear me talk about it. I can feel certain ways about it, but I keep that shit to myself because it's got nothing to do with me. So I need to stay in my place. So when I hear some, you know, other people try to step in and try to say, hey, this, that, hey, man, this our politics. Leave us be. And that's with all due respect. That's why I've said before, hey, man, I don't come to your house trying to tell you how to make a sandwich. I just eat the shit when you make it. Do the same over here, man. From managers, from his managers, just the people that just want to say, hey, man, this ain't got nothing to do with nobody but me and him. He know what he did was wrong. And if the boy would have jumped off of any other motherfucking, I don't care what it was, any other any other platform, I don't care what it was. I would have never said nothing. I would have let the shit rock and, hey, man, whatever. Hey, man, to each his own. Let him live his life. He just playing. But you went on soft white underbelly, homie. And I heard how you came. I talked to the sources, man, to the source. I heard how you came, loved one. It's no hate. I just rather you try to get on for who you were, not trying to take somebody else's story and try to twist it and make it your own and make it sound cool and try to, and try to beat us there five minutes early. It's not working like that. I don't go getting, like I said, I don't go getting in anybody else's politics and how they feel about anything. What I did with Lil Kelpie was super necessary. 
Now, if people let this clown in through the door, hey, man, that's on them. I gave him a chance to tell his truth. Just tell the truth, loved one. I've talked to you already. Just say it. Hey, man, you're just trying to get your SoundCloud off the ground. Don't use the game as a crutch because that's something you, I just don't like that. I would never do that. I would never act like I was this super gang member who done killed 40, 50 people and I ain't never even touched a fly or scratched a nigga across the chin. Some people gonna come holler at me. I have to expect that if, I'm, if I have any type of smarts. I have to expect that, that that's gonna come towards my way. Niggas gonna go pull my resume. They gonna see, man, hey, if his background is good. All the shit, right? So don't be upset when I'm over here pulling cards in the departments I'm supposed to pull cards in. You can't be upset with that. You have to let that rock. I got number love for Almighty. Stop saying I got number love for Almighty. But like I said, the shit ain't my fault. And I just wanted a disclaimer on that first and foremost. I ain't got nothing. I didn't even know he was coming back. I didn't even know he was coming back. I would have, me personally, and that's no offense to him. That's like they're talking bad on him. I just would have never invited him back because guess what? Some shit might pop off that second go around. He was waiting for that. Oh, I got my second chance. To get back in the door, I'm going to really pop it now. And whoever put the battery in his back to do that, shame on you. If you told that boy to come up in there and even doing that to somebody. Might be retired, hey man. But in all in all, nigga go check my resume, homie. Was doing it way before a fucking soft white underbelly, before no jumper, before any of that. I hated that happened to that boy. And people keep trying to say like, oh, if he wanted to fight all this. Extra. Listen, homie, if that was the case, he's a kid. I got a little homies for him. If that's what I really wanted. He needed a reality check. That's all it was. I didn't want him to get beat up. That's all my mama I ain't want him to get beat up. I just think he was misinformed, man. And he wasn't listening because the cameras is on. Them lights get real bright on people and they don't know how to handle them. I'm telling you from a man that's got to sit man in front of the lights. I've seen how people act. Some people can't handle them lights, man. He knew it was, he knew he wasn't that or any of this. But them lights is on, them cameras is on, and he already done tried to paint a narrative. So he's in too deep, and he knew that. You came to get your story out. You came to get your story. That's what it was supposed to be, right? You were supposed to come back. You were supposed to sit down with Adam. You were supposed to, you know, get out what you felt, what they, what the people felt like you didn't get a chance to say beforehand. And then you get to calling this man a bitch. That, that, was, that was what you had to say. Whoever informed him to do that, if you had any game about yourself, you know that shit was wrong.
I don't like it. I don't like where it went. You know, I, Almighty even feels a certain way about it because he didn't like having to come out of character to have to do something like that. And for people to sit there and want to say like, oh, and I've heard some of Kelpie saying, oh, well, I, I didn't know that was going to happen. Man, that boy sat up on you and said, what'd you say to me? You should have already been ready. It was coming. Soon as you said it again, like I said, caught in the lights, caught in the camera, not really listening to what you're saying. You're not really listening to it. So you start jabbing, start sitting there just going off at the mouth with all this fucking, uh, man, this malarkey. Because that's what it is. It's, it's, bullsh it's bullshit. I got number love for that youngster, man, but he's fucking playing. You ain't going to do this. I got respect for you as a man. You being a man. But this game, I've never respect. I can't smell it on you, loved one. And I've said this before. You called that man a bitch three times. He wasn't, he came in on a whole different vibe. That was a whole different vibe, man. That was, you trying to come back and get your get back in all the wrong places. You tried to come like get some get back, like on, like what was wrong with you, bro? Like what were you thinking? Like why did you come in there on that? Like who said, like, or what did you think of? Like, that was like, fuck this. I'm going up in here today. Nigga, suicide squad. Ah, let's get it. <clears throat> then to hear you was saying... Like, yeah, I'm a provoke him, pretty much. Man, a lot of these kids will take a fucking beating for clout, take a bullet for clout. Man, they'll lose their life for clout. Just send the video up to the afterlife for them. They don't give a fuck. Just let me know my shit was popping. That's whack, homie. We living for the wrong reasons today. I don't give a fuck what nobody say, man. We living for the wrong fucking reasons. I didn't grow up with this shit. This internet shit, yeah, this shit's cool. But, like, this shit wasn't it, man. Like, motherfuckers is doing it for nothing, going for nothing, just to say, hey, man, I just want to get 100,000 views, 200,000 views. Listen, man, anything that I do, I don't give a fuck about the views. I just want to put the real out there. Now, whether that does good, hey, man, God bless me, man. Hey, God bless me to, to keep moving and, and doing what I'm doing. But to hear people like, like purposely, like I'm about to provoke this shit, like it's, it's going down. Like then to hear on other things that you say you, you wanted to fight him and you wanted to, you already came on a bad vibe, man. You came with bad energy. You came with bad energy already. Then to hear him say something along the lines of, you know, I heard Almighty, you ain't, you ain't no gangster like that. Hey, man, we never got at you talking about this with some gangster shit. Nigga, let's keep that shit real. Let's not spin the narrative now. I don't like that. And that's why it's involving other people. Because you're trying to turn it into a narrative. Oh, it's on some gangster shit. No, nah, nigga, it was you getting chopped about your lies. Period. At the end of the day, man, you was getting chopped about your lies, bro. You gotta, people gotta respect that, man. You have no choice. You have to eat that. It might be a dish served cold on a hot plate, but you gotta eat it.
You got to eat it, man. I'm sorry. It's, it's what it is. You can't complain in, in nobody's fields. Might be retired, but I didn't like that shit, especially jumping off of Mark shit. If you would have jumped, like I said, he would have jumped off of anything else. I wouldn't have gave two fucks, three if you really needed it, nigga, on a good Sunday, bad Sunday. Don't care. I wouldn't even have gave a fuck. Wouldn't even have entertained it. But, man, come on, homie. I see some real ones pass through there, and they don't went through some real shit, man, some real struggles to even get there to even tell their story. Your story did, hasn't even started yet, and you over here talking about you got a story, nigga? Maybe on your life of doing drugs and playing on playgrounds and swinging on swings and shit. That's cool. You going to the beach every day or doing some shit like that? I don't give a... Man, come on, bruh. And to be honest with you, if you got drug stories, I don't want to hear your sad shit of you being on drugs. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that shit, man. We all had our choices. I don't want to hear that shit, homie. That's the case, I do fucking drugs every day. If that's the fucking case, no, it's all by choice. You got the choices to do what you do. I done been through some fucked up shit. I'm not picking up no glass dick. I'm not picking up nothing of the substance. I'm not snorting nothing up my nose. I'm not popping anything. That shit was crazy, man. I Listen to me. I didn't sign off on that shit. I didn't think that shit should have happened. I don't think that he should have went back. And I don't think Almighty should have been sitting there. That's the real. None of this shit should have happened. I had it under control. We chop him the way he needs to be chopped because he's got to hear this shit. And we send him on his way. We send him on his way. It's very simple. It was very simple math. We had directions to it and all. It was good. Man, bro, like, and it's cool. Respect to the views of it. Is it making money? It's, it's doing what it's doing. But the expense of it, man. It's, it's crazy. It is. This kid came in fucking faking. Nobody cares. All we care about is that it's entertaining. It's something to laugh at. And this is why people don't make real content anymore. That's why people lean towards more bullshit than they do some real genuine organic content because that shit's not going to really do any views. Motherfuckers don't care about that. All they care about is the drama, who spit on who, who dogged out who. That's all that matters. That shit's going to get millions. Start making some people some uh, moderators in here too, man. So, I don't know what Kelpie got. I don't know if he did or he didn't. I didn't dig that deep. I don't want to know. I'm good. And if I did, it ain't my business to tell. Yeah, man, just hit my Instagram. Put you on as a moderator, man. We're going to do some shit. We're going to do it right. Get some people on. Let y'all run this shit. The real ones, anyway. I just think it's drag, man. I don't like it. I know y'all probably expect me to jump on like, ah... Yeah, as a real one, I ain't like none of that shit. 
And this is just my personal opinion. I don't think it should have happened. I mean, it is what it is now. Got to roll with the flow, roll with the tides. But it's, it still was just, it just was a clusterfuck of just drag in a brown paper bag that just, it just didn't need to be. And it was like, damn, it almost seemed like it was, it was, it was done the way that it, I'm looking at it like Kelpie, like you waited for your face to heal up. You waited them three weeks because you wanted to, because you wanted to tell Adam, drop the video. So that way you could come on right afterwards. You didn't, you couldn't, you didn't want to wait because you, you didn't want to come on and your face was fucked up. I get it. I see the move. And that ain't even roasting him. I'm just seeing the move of how he's moving. You know what I'm saying? How he's really playing his hand. Like, oh, yeah, I don't want to go on looking fucked up. That's why he said, look at my face. Like, I done seen a little shit. Look at my face. Like, look at this. Like, he didn't want to come on fucked up. You should have let the video drop, nigga, and come out fucked up. You probably would have went up more. Dumb, man. This shit is just crazy. Motherfuckers don't be thinking. Motherfuckers really don't be thinking. If I was advising you, you would have moved completely different. But I get it. I fucking get it. You say Kelpie 19 and he's looking for somebody to accept him. Okay. That's cool. How about you start accepting yourself first for who you are? Then worry about going and try to get around somebody. You ever thought of that? I don't want nobody to accept me if I can't accept my fucking self and look at myself in the mirror when I wake up. How the fuck am I going to sit there and worry about the next person and what they think of me? Nigga, that ain't a life worth the fucking living worth a damn. Let's be real. Who want to live a life like that? I wake up every day to give a fuck what the next motherfucker thinks. Yeah, I might care, but it's going to be some people that I'm close to that say something to me or be like, hey, like that's the only way I can see myself even feeling a certain type of way. And even then, a lot of the times I don't give a fuck because I'm going to make the move the way I make the move. Let's listen to this shit, shall we? Y'all wanna listen to this shit? Let's listen to this shit together, man. Cause this shit is just, I don't know. It's just, I'm watching the move, like thinks he's fast. Like, and it's cool, man. This shit is, this was never supposed to get this far. This was never supposed to go this far. Was never supposed to go this far. Of course, it's got ads before it. This motherfucker, pff, boy, going 1.3 million in a day of straight fuckery. Yeah, this motherfucker running its ads, boy. And I got red. Yeah, some world. And today, pretty excited because we have somebody who's uh, making a big splash on the scene. Yes, sir. Kelby is in the Little building. Little Kelby, uh, also known as Kelby the P. <laughs> 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 Always crack me up, dog. Poor man never fails. <laughs> he said, We got a little Kelby in the building. <laughs> he said, Yeah, a little Kelby. <laughs> Adam be off the motherfucking chain, dog. Off the chain. Don't call me broke. So That's yeah, right. Out here today. And then co hosting with me. Big Seth Garber, this pleasure, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
almighty for the album because the record too short, you dig what I'm saying? No, the real deal, you know what I'm saying? All he feels, you know what I'm saying? Not the impersonation. Damn, he just came with a whole little monologue like OJ the Juicy. <laughs> it wasn't, no. Stop throwing it, see? That's not right. Don't throw it in a rap form. Adam, that's not a rap form. He kicking game, he just kicking his ism, man. You know what I'm saying? He just kicking his spit. That's his lingo. That is lingo. He just kicking, you know what I'm saying? He just kicking his pitch. So that dude, we can't throw that in a race. It's a different, it falls in a different realm, man. We can't, we can't sit there and try to mesh that and try to fucking, you know, uh, hybrid this shit no that that's not what it that's not the realm it falls in i'm just trying to correct the terminology of where he was coming from when he was saying that it wasn't on a sense it wasn't from uh oj the juice man shout out oj the juice man hey man i listened to your music for years but i'm sure even he knows it's it falls in a different lingo man if you're from the streets, you know that. It falls in a different lingo. If you've been around all different walks of life from the streets, you're going to see, man, all them things sound kind of different. <laughs> That's fire. Um, okay, so I wanted to, like, hop in here yeah. and attempt to, you know, have a conversation that perhaps can build on some of the other conversations that have already happened. Yeah. So let's, let's lay this all out. So. Yeah. Later. You had a very, very uh, viral appearance on Soft White Underbelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell okay. me what happened. Like, what what was your life like in the lead up to that? Why did you decide to do that? Uh, in the lead up to that, I was uh, I was hustling. I don't want to say specifics, but I was doing a little a little shit in the streets. And then uh, basically, I was like, you know I what? I feel like you've already filled this in about what you were doing. Yeah, in the I mean, well, well, Sharp made some accusations about what I was doing. I don't want to admit or uh, deny those, but. Uh, First and foremost, I made no accusations. I said what you said on Mark Soft White Underbelly's interview. I never put words in your mouth. I never said anything that you didn't say. Don't play me, loved one. That's the problem. That's where we keep getting that fucked up is because, and it's crazy. That's why I keep saying nobody's watching the pattern. He's got a different story for every, for the same motherfucking, same questions every time. Every time I'm, I'm just picking them apart. That's what I do. I came from the game. That's what we do, man. We pick that shit apart. The bitch gonna lie to you. So you gotta make sure you pick shit apart. That's the, that's the, the, the mentality I came from. So I'm picking at it. I'm looking at it. And then when the, the story doesn't match up, you keep getting asked these questions in the same format or maybe in a little bit of a different format, but it still goes out the same. You keep giving a different answer to them each time. Yeah, basically I was getting money and shit and then that hustle came to an abrupt end when I got raided. So then I switched into another one because I seen some people that needed help and you know, I just jumped into the game. Describe getting raided though. Oh, uh, well I was... You jumped in, okay, you jumped in because you said that you saw people that needed help, okay? That was his words right now. He jumped in the game because he saw some people that needed some help. Bro, homeless people need help. The next door neighbor might need help. Shit, the old lady at the store might need help with her groceries, putting them in the car. There's a lot of people that need help out here. There's a lot of people that need help out here. You can't just sit there and say, oh, well, that's why I jumped in this is because I seen some people that needed help. You needed help too, Kelpie. In a lot of ways, more than one. You even admitted it. You said, man, uh, I don't even know how that even came up. Like in the interview that I did with you, you said, you know, I got some brain damage from them car accidents. So I might be dealing with somebody. I think we might be dealing with somebody worse than what we think. Outside vaping and shit and like, you know, still hustling. And the girls were inside um, and basically just got a no-knock rate. Right? Jumped into the game. Describe getting raided though. Oh, uh, well, I was outside vaping and shit and like, you know, still hustling. And the girls were inside um, and basically... Just got a no-knock raid. They came in. They pulled me outside some undercovers, and they, like, drew their guns on me and shit like that, put me in the squad car, 
and then they all just were like inside my house and like, yo, we got a warrant to search your. Have you seen that? Hold on. Hold on, dog. Hold on. So you telling me they put you in a squad car, went inside, raided your house. Hold on, dog. I, I, I'm, I'm lost here. So they put you in a squad car, went inside, raided your house. Nigga, you laying on the floor right there until they done raiding that motherfucker. Sitting on the couch, some they want to bring it past your face. Whatever they get. Been there, buddy. Like you. So you. Probably... Yeah, they, they were trying to say that I was like, you know, drug dealing or, or something like that. Okay. Well, you don't honestly, have a case as a result of this? Oh, uh, no, nah, I never heard back from them, honestly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. The shit that I saw on that paper, and hey, you're right, it ain't my business to talk, but the shit I saw on that paper, he going to jail. He's going to jail. Like, I, I, I don't wish jail, listen, I don't wish jail on nobody. And if he got out of that by the graces of God, nigga, hanging off the fucking tip of the devil's dick, then hey, man, so fucking A, more power to him. But I find that I don't believe that one fucking bit. You don't hear me busting the race card for that. They don't give a fuck if you get under the shape, man. Seven different color greens. Your ass going to jail. Nigga, leave you a copy. They ain't leaving you a copy of none of that shit. You going with them. You about to have some paperwork, nigga, sitting in that county. Let's keep that shit a band for all my real ones out there that know, nigga, or know somebody who has went through something like that. Nigga, you know they ain't walking away. They not walking away. I've never seen that. I mean, I, maybe there's something I don't know. Maybe I'm lost in the sauce when it comes to that. I, and there's something different going on today in 2022. But last time I checked, a nigga going. You on your way, buddy. You're on your way. They not leaving you at the house with some paperwork, man, and in disarray. And they got shit on the paper talking about, nigga, you, come on, bro. You're going for that. And like I said, I don't wish jail on nobody. I never have in my life my worst enemy. I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't wish jail on nobody. Unless, like, you do some shit fucking with some kids or you done did some old weird shit or... You know, hey, man, that's your only... Hey, man, nigga need to get thrown under the jail and beat every motherfucking day. That's different, but just on the... I don't wish jail on nobody, man. It ain't my business. I stay out of that. But this nigga tries to bring some paperwork talking about, oh, well, this shit right here is... This is what they gave me. No, they never gave you none of that. I think you had that wrote up or you took that from somebody. That's just my personal opinion. I think this whole story is made up. I just think that this shit's some bullshit and it's not adding up to me, homie. And so then you decide, like, how did the software underbelly opportunity even come about? Uh, well, I've been trying to do some, like, online stuff and just get that internet money and also promote uh, my girl's OnlyFans. Okay. Uh, so basically, check out Crystal Roses on OnlyFans, by the way. She's going up. Uh, but no, basically, I was just... That chick ain't doing nothing. No offense to the young baby, because you're young and you... <coughs> she looked lost. He looked lost. <coughs> this shit's crazy. Trying to promote that stuff, so I went on Soft White, talking about my story, and then, yeah, it just kind of blew up from there. So what was the feedback like? Like, what would you describe as the most common 
comments that you saw in response to the soft vulnerability thing that were really driving it being viral? Oh, just a lot of hateful shit about the way I was dressed, mostly. People was like, and also I feel like they took a lot of the shit I said out of context. Like, when I said I was homeless, that was because I just got evicted after the raid. The apartments had, like, kicked us out with some Section 8 that I was staying with my family and the girls. So they kicked us out of that, and then a lot of people were like, oh, why is he dressed like a Party City pimp, fake chains and all that? But, you know, it's all real. You know, the, the outfit, I feel like that's the most thing that people said was being disrespectful. But I was just doing that to get attention. But all my jewelry is legit and stuff. So uh, and diamond tests, let's make fill me in on that. Like, is there, is there something expected of you before you've earned the stripes to wear certain types of, like, pimp outfits? Nah, it wasn't even that. It was like, we felt like that shit, like, the equivalent for, to, to to get everybody to understand it, kind of like, kind of like blackface. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was kind of like, like, it, it looked like a costume. You, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's like, he I, came I in here, he came in here wearing that shit, like, in his hand. You said it was a facade, Kelpie. It's what you said. He was like, man, I was just wearing, I just want to get some attention. I just want to get some attention. You got it. But you got it in a whole wrong sense, too. Come on, loved one. You got to do better than that. You got to do better than that, man. This ain't it. This ain't it, homie. <laughs> this, just ain't, this just ain't it. And for people to even believe this, no, he was supposed to get shut down and put away not come back and go try to get on. You're going to have to rebirth yourself, Kelpie. It's 2K over here, baby. you have to hit the rebirth. Like, oh, this is what pimps is supposed to look like. I got my little dollar sign chain, my little yeah, fur yeah, coat. Two of them. But do you, do you feel like, you know, you could have rocked the same fit or something similar? But I mean, I'm true to this, so of course I could, but... That's the so same thing, like, I'm black, blackface. You get know what I'm saying? Like, okay. it's, it's like wearing blackface. But, so so, like, but aren't there I, white pimps at these pimp conventions yeah, yeah. and white shit? White folks, white folks popping ass white. I'm going to be real. I ain't going to say I ain't never seen no white people around or people that I fuck with that may be Caucasian or people that I know, and shout out to them, nothing but love. But just to be real, Adam, I ain't never seen nobody like you and I ain't never seen nobody like Kelpie or even coming in talking like that. I'm just being honest with you, man. That's never been seen. That's never been seen. I'm, just, I'm keeping it all the way straight across the motherfucking board. I've never seen anybody like Adam walk through the door. And I've never seen nobody like Kelpie in all my time. It's just keeping it a bean. And you didn't I even bet know who doing he was no, no, no. until right now. But until I know who he is. I know who we he asked is. you that last interview. You had no clue. <laughs> you didn't now ask you me about no white pimps last time? The nigga Sharp said, you know who the fuck white folks is? You said, no, I don't. You didn't know who the fuck <laughs> that was? Who that even if I, you say I told you that on the phone, right? You never said that in our interview. You played dumbfounded to it. You did. You didn't come off on the sense of like, oh, well, you know, Sharpen told me about who that was. No, and you was like, no, nah, I don't know who that is. And you know what? It's okay. That's cool. That's fine. But just do your research, man. Like, just, if you, like, and it ain't something you can do on YouTube. See, that's the problem. Motherfucker about to go and start trying to type that shit in. Like, oh, yeah. Let me find this. You can't find it, man. You got to go live it. And that's not encouraging nobody to go do nothing. Disclaimer again. But I'm just saying on just the strength of it, if that's what was going on, a motherfucker could have only lived that. It, 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 man, the internet, man, is undefeated, man. This shit is crazy. This shit is fucking crazy. The internet is undefeated at all times. I was on FaceTime before the interview Exactly. Happened. You yeah, didn't know who white was. folks was until we informed you. Until Shark informed me on a FaceTime until, before this interview. Until a pimp informed yeah. you yeah. who white who Exactly. But you, you know, know what I'm saying? There's white until, pimps until out there. Until somebody informed so you I'm, before this interview. Because blackface. That, that yeah. seems like you're bringing up racism where it doesn't need no, to be. No, 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 no. Say about racism. And shout out and RIP to my man, 
white folks, man, for real, because I used to talk to them when I was a youngster, man. Me and used to chop it up quite frequently on the line, man. You know, just about life, just about whatever. I miss him dearly, for real, and I promise you, if he was alive, I would have had him here for that interview. Just to show motherfuckers that, hey, no, it's not about your color or your skin, man. Or the clothes that you're in. Real just recognize real, man. Come on. At the end of the day, we know what it is. That was just a um that was just an analogy to get everybody to understand. I'm not saying that you were doing it's, it's you said an analogy I was to basically. get everybody to understand. Yeah, because you 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 pulled up in a pimp costume. You were saying it was a like black face, but is, is it the fact costume. that he's white in general or is it the fact that he's no, no, so no, no, new no. in the game? It's just he's it's just because he's not really doing that shit in his head. <laughs> he came. But I like, really do like, my saying? Like, he came. That. That's like that's like What's a good analogy? Well, I just gave one, like blackface, but let's do another one. Like, like, like a nigga who go to the gym with all this shit and he looking like he finna ball the fuck up. You feel me? And then when he get the ball, he can't do shit. But he came in his head like, this is what ballers look like. I'm gonna get the headband, the socks, and all that shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, but what if, that's what, what if I'm he saying. starts learning how to play ball and then he starts balling harder than other motherfuckers? Right? Is he still impersonating at that point? Everybody's a little kid trying. Okay. Go ball first then. Stop trying to act like you deserve to be at the fucking NBA Finals, the Final Four. And you ain't did shit for it. You never hooped. There's niggas that's been hooping way longer than you that deserves to be where you at more than you do right at that point. You trying to sneak your way in. Let's be real. Let's listen to the lesson here. And see if I see you in the building too, church. See, oh, man, everybody in this motherfucker tonight, man. We're going to take our time with this one. You got to go be a hooper first. Be known for being a hooper then. Don't just say, oh, well, what if he gets good? Okay, guess what niggas had to do to do that? Go play by yourself and get some practice, nigga. Play in some low-end pickup games first. You don't try to just jump out and just be like, oh, well, yeah, shit, I'm trying, ain't I? I deserve to be here at the motherfucking NBA Finals. You don't even know how to play it, not even half the bit. Let's be real. You don't even know how to play it even half the bit, homie. I went for triple doubles for a long motherfucking time, nigga. What are you talking about? Lucky I ain't in the game no more, nigga. Because I'd have moved you and bagged you for everything. Just to show you. But maybe in a different lifetime, Kelvin. That's how much he could never catch up. And nothing but love to what I see him attempting to try to do. Nothing but love, man. But you know you plan. You're going to keep the game out your mouth. You can go gangbang. You can go do whatever the fuck, man. Sell drugs. I don't give a fuck. Then you can go play a banjo in a band tomorrow. I don't care. Hey, man, and we'll still support it and respect it. But when it comes to this game here, homie, and things that I've seen, I don't smell it on you, man. You get no stamp for that. And like I said, if you would have jumped off of any other motherfucking platform, anything, I don't give a fuck. That's cool. Hey, man, do it. Ha ha. Yeah, it's just something to laugh at. I sat back on the couch, scratched my nuts and laughed on nigga and never talked about it again a day in my motherfucking life. You jumped off soft white underbelly. And how you were only, the only way you could have came was if you would have brought some little bitches with you, man. Keep that shit real. Stop trying to, man, come on, bro. Soft white, man, underbelly alumni. You think I don't know? I know how you came about, boy, and how you even got the breathing on there. The people that fuck with you might want to go do the research and know about it. And if they know, they'll see how you've changed your stories through everything that this, man, this shit's even stood for. You don't even know. You're just taking bits and pieces, man, and just going off at the mouth. You don't know where you at with it.
I thought you was, hey man, I thought you was smart just a little bit, but you showed me right here that you let whatever came about on you get the best of you. You should have played it cool. Yeah, werewolf hours. Nigga. <laughs> werewolf hours. Yeah, y'all see the real cutting one right now, man. Real reaction. And like I said, I would have never brought him back. There was no need. Shout out, hey man, love to Kelpie. I don't give a fuck if he in here. I don't give a fuck what's going on. It don't matter. He even know. I, me personally, me, sharp, and if I had something to do with signing it on the line, nigga, you would have not came back. There was no need. Go get some press and do what you got to do and do some shit in the street and then maybe a nigga might have called you back and told you, okay, Kelpie, well, maybe you trying to do something. You really not, bro. You stuck in it now and you're scared. And I get it, loved one. Because you're like, damn, I done pushed this narrative, but really this isn't me. I didn't expect to get on off this. This was just something he was trying. He was just trying something, man. This was never really him. That's why he said, no, this is just one of many. Nigga, many of what? What are you talking about? Come on, bros. Let's think. Like I said, hey, Lord, man, I'm... Now, if the nigga would have took off on me, yeah, nigga, I'm not going to lie to you. Kelpie be number love, but I was beating your ass. And that's cool. It's not even nothing even in a disrespectful mode. But I'm just saying, it was, if he would like got off of me, like, nigga, I got to get down. Like, it is what it is. But that's not what I was there for. I was there to enlighten the young man. This is how it goes. He would have got it worse in the street. I actually had care for him and brought him there. I know people might take my words and my approach wrong or I might be, you know what I'm saying, a little bit aggressive about things. It's not that. I'm just passionate, man. I, I care about it. I cared about him just as, as the youth. This ain't you, man. This ain't you. You was hoping to come get some game. You did. Nigga, change your life. Go do something right. Come on, bro. This what that wasn't for you. I don't even like seeing you even in this light having to get punched on. That shit ain't even cool at all. Almighty didn't even like it. But nigga, he asked you again like you just said it again because you were so caught in the lights of things. You were just so caught in that instead of just being like, hey, man, I ain't calling you a bitch. I mean, I'm just speaking for myself like, hey, you know, Ben Franklin know who I am, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like you could have you could have changed it in so many different scenarios and you didn't. You said, nigga, I'm calling you a bitch. This shit's crazy. Come on, dog. You had a, if you had a second chance at it, my nigga, why didn't you do right with it? Like, what, what was that? You screaming to somebody, like, check your resume or something, nigga, and your shit just got your name on it. If it even did that, nigga, you ain't even get your name on the folder yet. This motherfucker empty. You still got the vanilla envelope, man, with the little tag at the top or whatever that folder. Like, man, you got the little filing joint, and that shit don't got a piece of paper in it, one, and you over here popping like that shit's full up, and that motherfucker thick, and it can barely even close. Nigga, yeah, right. You are tripping. <laughs> You are a whole trip. <laughs> For real, bruh. Your shit ain't, nigga, that motherfucker flapping. We can sit there and fold that bitch up and use it as an airplane and play paper airplanes with that motherfucking church because that motherfucker ain't got shit in it. That motherfucker ain't got shit in it, bruh. I love you to death, Kelpie, but you got to get it together. Yeah, like Michael you know, Jordan at one point, right? right? And then right? Well, the next day, boom, yeah. you are Michael Jordan. You got to crawl before you can walk. First and foremost, Adam, there was only one Michael Jordan ever. Let's just leave that one, that topic alone. I ain't knocking you, but you better off talking about Larry Bird or something, bro. Nothing but love. Michael Jordan stood in his own lane, still stands there today selling shoes. 
reselling the same motherfucking joint. That's how you know the nigga was popular. I'm just keeping this shit real, man, for real. Michael Jordan, that shit don't even go together. He'll never be that. More, say John Stockton. And I fucked with John Stockton. Nigga, Utah Jazz. He played with Carl Malone. But damn, bro. No, let's talk about, man, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan staying all, all jokes aside, because I'm joking. But, like, all jokes aside, bro, like, Michael Jordan stood in his own lane, man. And everybody, people that knew they came up behind him, yeah, you can, and you can mimic, but you can never be. It's just some people, homie, that, that are going to be who they are. He is his own. Come on, we can't get into that. That's the Tupac and the, the Michael Jordan and the Biggie. We, when you get to that, man, some people just kind of stand in their own lane. You know what I'm saying? You got to let them be that. And a lot of the motherfuckers here, the Jordan heads, everybody know, like, man, come on. That's real. Like, you got to let that shit be, be great. But that's the problem. Everybody think that, like, you can overshadow that. You can... Oh, you could be better instead of just being great for yo for you and having somebody come up that wants to mimic you, but they know they can't be, but they end up forming themselves into their own sense, man. That that's what it's gotta be. It's gotta be like that. That's what creates legends. That's what truly creates legends. Can't say you're going to be him because there's only going to be one. It's only going to be one of him. It's one of one. If he made it, he made it. Be you. Bro. So everybody starts somewhere. And I feel like y'all were hating on that because not even the race thing because I feel like we're all the same. No matter. Right. Oh, the next day, boom, yeah. you are Michael Jordan. You gotta crawl before you can walk, bro. So everybody starts somewhere, and I feel like y'all were hating on that because not even the race thing, because I feel like we're all the same, no matter what color we are, but I feel like it's because of my age and because of how new I was to the game that y'all just attacked me for. That was nothing to do with that. I really? Like, I don't... How new you, you was? No, how new you are? You've never even touched that, Kelpie. Nothing but love to you, young brother. But you never even touch that, my G. You can't act like you just elevated. Like, my nigga, you're scared. And I ain't talking about me or anybody else, but you scared of what this has done. <coughs> and you're not ready. People are seeing that the metal you tried to put around your own neck, that gold metal, is fraud. You stole it. We see. I feel like you're That's new to shit. Like you hate white people. Like no, 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 no. I feel like you're not new to shit. I just feel like you're an impersonator for your. Whoa, that wasn't a cool joke, Adam. You know, that wasn't a cool joke. You hate white. You must hate white people. No, no, hell no, hell no. You know that because don't, don't nobody tell you. You know what I'm saying you must hate black people. No. Come on, we all around each other. Everybody's everything. Everybody, we're. we're we're, we're in a good vibe, you know? Everybody fucks with everybody, so I don't think that, I just, I didn't like that. I don't like that joke. That's just me personally. I don't like that. I don't think that's cool, you know? But I'm sure Almighty handled this one. SoundCloud career, you're not new to shit, nigga. Well, bro, I don't even focus on music. You came up in I here talking about streets. I focus on the streets. Like, you hate white people. Like no, 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 no. I feel like you're not new to shit. I just feel like you're an impersonator for your SoundCloud career. You're not new to shit, nigga. Well, bro, I don't even focus on music. You came up in I here talking about I focus on the streets. I focus on getting money. You came up here talking about you professing old school. You and focus then you on the like, streets. We actually, where you learned this shit from, and then you said, yeah, I watched you. I watched short on YouTube. Like, yeah. get the fuck out of here, nigga. I, have no, it's not, I it's have no it's mentors not in real life. You can watch on, on, on YouTube and impersonate, and start getting money Get in the fucking streets, nigga. And get some real experience. But all these drills. Kids yeah, are looking at saying. older drill rappers experience. and fucking getting influenced really by outside. that rap. Drilling though. Are you really outside? Hold on. I, and this is this is I'm, I gotta keep it real, man. Like for real, I gotta keep it real and and just listen and hear me out. 
what we're talking about and what I originally brought him in for has nothing to do with drill music. Drill music and Pippin is nothing. It's two totally different things or what he's even trying to proclaim to even fucking be. That has nothing. Let's not even throw this in the rap genre. I don't like that. That's how we're starting to mix shit up and starting to try to make it what we want to make it. But really, we're just pouring syrup on shit and trying to call it pancakes. That's that's not what we're going to do here. That has nothing to do. We can't even coincide those. Those don't go together. Separate those. You might think it's peanut butter and jelly, but it's really not. It's fucking, I can't even tell you, homie. I, it's not what you want together. That has nothing to do with it. That nothing, nothing. Sitting there and, you know, well, it's the drill. You know what I'm saying? It's like drill, drill rappers looking up the old. No, it's not about no. That's none of that. That's where we separate this today. As a real one, I got to do that. That's why we separate that. We're not going to try to sit there because they're going to try to. It, it, that shit gets messy. It's a soup sandwich and you can't eat that shit. Let's not do it. Uh, not, not really. It's not really. I brought two bitches with me. I've never seen none of your bitches. That don't mean shit. Because I'm working on the couch. None of your bitches. Right. 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 None right. of your bitches. Because I'm really doing this shit. What the fuck? I look like bringing some bitches in here. Really? You're a clown. Well, nigga. You, you go. <laughs> he said, I got two bitches sitting there on the couch. And I always notice. Adam always keep it real. So he going to say it for what it is. He never said those bitches was bad. He never said, yeah, they bad too. You know? Come on now. He never said that. He never said, yeah, and them bitches is bad too. He got some bad ones sitting there on the couch. Get life for this shit. You gonna get life for playing around. So life really for playing with somebody. Do I look like, like bringing some problems in here? Sounds niggas get the fuck. book through at them we for this shit. This nigga's a clown. This nigga's a clown in there. Fuck out of here. Nigga, you're a clown. Nigga, you're a clown. Nigga, fuck out of here. Nigga, you're a bum. Nigga, go get some money, nigga. You ain't no nobody trash. Mr. Old School, you ain't got no fucking money, nigga. Go get some money out. You broke ass nigga. Nigga, you fuck out of here. Nigga, you're a clown. 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 Nigga, you're a Earlier through the interview, this one, hey, go, ch hey, my pockets is full. Let's check my pockets. You know what I'm saying? My pockets is full up. Now, Almighty asked him, hey, man, come on now. Now, it's his pockets, nigga. Hey, big bank, take a little bank then, nigga. Pull it out. Pull it out. He ain't pulling out nothing. Now, he's just getting into the match of it. Let me just interrupt real quick. Let me just interrupt real quick. Hey, you, bro. All right. People try to pull that pull that out on Sharp and stuff too. Like, where's your bit? I'm gonna be real, like. Let me and Sharp have been in the same group chat for like a couple years at this yeah. point, so I've seen some of the girls that he spends time with. He definitely has some attractive women in his life. I have no idea what their relationship is, but also, you know, you gotta respect it. Like, fucking, if I had like all kinds of girls, I would probably try to keep some kind of distance between my professional life and bringing chicks around, Thank all my you. employees and stuff. I mean, I am somebody who lives my whole fucking life on the internet, so it might be kind of different for me, but yeah. I mean, just because he don't necessarily, I, this guy's seen him, I've seen some women trailing him before. <laughs> <laughs> niggas better. Niggas I ain't really seen know. That. Nigga, I'm on tracks. Boy, fuck out of here. I ain't never nigga. seen no bitch. Who are you? I'm little Who Kelpie are you? Kelpie no one knows him. <laughs> Kelpie the motherfucker. Kelpie pimp. the clown. Fuck you only gotta here. know who I am, bro. Fuck out of here. Ben Franklin knows who I am, bitch. Fuck out of here. He knows who the fuck I am. I'm saying what? Every day. I said, Ben Franklin knows who the fuck I am, bitch. Who? Okay. So this is where, when Kelpie said, yeah, I didn't know what he was gonna do, this is where all the warning signs came in. Set up. Who? It's already changing. Now he don't give a fuck what you talking about. He just heard something that he don't like. Man. You calling a bitch though. I'm calling you a bitch. Okay. So. Yeah. Nah. Nah. That just wasn't the Kelpie that, like, I don't know, he's been, like, evolving. Like, he's <laughs> trying new things, and I get it, and I'm like, bro, I don't want to see this for you. I, I don't like this shit. I really don't. 
I don't. I don't think the shit's cool. Almighty didn't think the shit was cool, to be real. That's not what anybody was on. And that wasn't on no gangster shit or no nothing. Like, you just, was that was on some man shit. Called him a bitch three times and thought that shit was gonna get, just be given and just get green lighted on camera. Let's look at the facts here. The matter at hand. You thought that shit was going to be slick for the cameras and all oh, this is going to make for, a, you know, a good clip. And you got chipped. And I don't like seeing that for you, man. For real, I don't, bro. You can have a bright, a, a bright future for yourself or whatever you want to do. But you rather it came in on this and your ass got got. And I hate seeing that for you, man. I really do. I would have never invited him back. Like, I, I don't like that. That that shit ain't, that shit ain't, man, that shit ain't right. And I don't want nobody to get the impression that that's what we're on up there. Because that's not. And that ain't something that should ever happen. That It ain't going to happen again. Kelpie, when he sat down with me, he got chopped. Now, for the ones that don't understand that, that's fine, and I get that part of it, and I, hey, I understand there's, there's shit you probably do that, you know, I don't understand how you get bothered when your ketchup touch your chicken nuggets. I don't know. You, you, I can't understand certain things, but I mean, I guess each to their own, right? You know what I'm saying? To each their own. So, let me be. And there's just certain things that I, just, I, I, I didn't understand. Yeah, he'd still be untouched. He wouldn't be touched right now if he wouldn't. So I don't know who gassed him. I don't know who it was or who gave the the the, the bat signal for that. I feel bad for, for, for the young man, man. I really do. Like I said, if I wanted it, if it was that much of a problem, I'm not, I don't need to touch him unless he touched me. I don't need to touch him, man. If, if it was that much of a problem, I'd just have one of my little homies. Hey, man, size up with him then. Straight up, same side, everything, but like it wasn't on none of that. It was really on game. And him getting chopped for the game, that's what he claimed, right? So let's not try to change it to, oh, well, it was on some gangster shit and, oh, well, Almighty's not a gangster. Man, Almighty never claimed that. Almighty never claimed that. I never saw Almighty sit there and say, man, I'm a gangster. Nigga, shit, this is how they, hey, man, he just trying to claim to be, hey, man, I'm just, you know, I'm a perfect, hey, man, I'm, I'm just a, a suave guy, man. I like to I like to move, I like to move. But when a nigga starts sitting there saying, man, you know shit, Ben Franklin know me, bitch, and a nigga say, what, and sit up? You should already be ready for all that because he took that bitch word as, nigga, it's about to be a problem. Let's be real. You got to watch body language, Kelpie, if you learned anything. Hey, man, come over here to 101. I'm telling you the real. If you learned anything, nigga, that's 101. They teach you already. When Hey, man, when hey bodies is engaging, you might want to watch it because, nigga, there was something that you just said that just triggered. You, hey, man, they teach you this shit, man. Come on now. You've been out in the streets. You say you've been out in the streets. I'm not going to say that boy got what he was supposed to get or anything because that's not what it's about. That shit got provoked. A motherfucker knew what they was doing. A motherfucker knew what they was doing, man. Let's be real. Like, let's not let's not sit here and try to play it out like, nigga, oh, it's just cool. Oh, this just happened. So, no, it happened organic on Almighty situation because Almighty didn't really know what he was walking into. He's done one with Kelpie before. I've done one. That was never Kelpie's energy from before.
And shout out to Orange County too. What nobody talk about Orange County per se. I was just telling him, man, go back to the beach. He just looked like he lived a real nice life out there, man. Shit, I don't give a fuck where he was from. He just looked like he lived a really nice life wherever it was. The fucked around at OC before, man, a few times. I know about it. It wasn't OC per se. It was just him. Take your ass back up, man. Go back down to the beach, man. Feed the birds or something, man. Go do something, man, with your life, man. Like you, he, he I just, I, just, I don't smell it. I don't see it in his eyes, man. He just, like I said, he ain't never been cut before. He hasn't. That boy ain't never got cut before. Here, we're going to play a couple clips from the one that I did with him. And we sitting down like, and just, you've heard his story, right? We've heard this, th this narrative. Now watch how he tries to go back. And I talk to him. You know, I get on him, man. I just, when it comes to this game, I don't know nothing else. That's cool. Motherfuckers can say that, man. I don't know nothing else. Hey, man, Sharp, you ain't never done this before. That's cool. You're right. I might be able to learn in the future if I just keep, you know, just at it enough. Not even watching it enough. Fuck watching. I got an experience. I got to do things if that's what I want to do, correct? But just watch how just... It gets, it gets tricky, man. I don't, I don't watch this, this boy's whole mixture. And this, like I said, this ain't a bash Kelpie, nothing. Hey, man, peace and prosperity. But this ain't you. That's all I'm saying, homie. And can't no, and can't nobody tell me that. Oh, just because you said, oh, well, he set him down on the blade. Ain't that some pimping? No, bro. Come on, man. Niggas just looking to put stripes and paint where it ain't supposed to be. Let's let's stop that. Especially if you ain't never did that before. You can't sit there and say that that's anything, though, loved one. Whoever that may concern. That's all. You can't say that. You can't say that, church. Come on, man. Let's go see. Yeah, man. I got I, I heard the whole story change. Like the narratives change through it all, man. Through it all. He tells a piece of my story. Tells a piece of other people's story. Like he tries to piece them up. And I'm like, damn, you ain't even got to do that, man. Just be the SoundCloud rapper that you want to be. To be that. To be that. The Shark Tank. To be that, no man. Jumper. Sharpest, coolest podcast in the world. And today we got Kip. Man, we got what? Lil Kelpie? Yeah, Lil, Lil Kelpie. Kelpie. You know we gonna get on all that. Hey church, do me a favor, take that jacket off. Uh -huh. You gotta take that jacket off, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I wanted to take it off him. But then I think about it. What's that gonna look like? He wanna keep it on and get capped on? That's fine. You know, that's fine. But touching him, that ain't what I wanted to do. I don't want to put my hands on him. I, I did feel that. I'm not going to lie. In my, in my heart, I did feel that. But me sitting there trying to engage on him, like that's not even where I wanted it to really go. Just admit that you know your faults. He was pissing me off in the end. He was pissing me off in the end, man. It was, it was cool up until that point. Like you just kept just bullshitting and bullshitting and bullshitting. 
Right, you got to take that off. No, that's so true. what? Take that shit off. I mean, that, that's a fraud, though, but you're not going to wear that. Bro, if you want to do this, no, I'm not talking about that, but you got to take that off, though, bro. Before we can talk, yeah, if you can put it back on or what it is, take it off, bro. Gave you action and putting it back on when we was done. Let's see where your game at. Sit back and relax. What you got a fur on for? Nigga, we in California right now. Nigga, and it's hot outside. I didn't understand that point. I didn't, I didn't get that. Nah, be a real one, no, no, be a real one. Hey, take that shit off. Greatness for real. My, if my hey, for real, bro. If you don't really respect something, my nigga, respect, take that shit off. This is your outfit. outfit. This is my outfit. Man, it's a fake fit. It's a real I don't give a f if this real, nigga. That's a mean? fake fit. And I'm trying to listen, homie. I'm going to be real. Before we even kick this shit off, dog, I'm going to be real because it's taking everything fucking in me, my nigga. Not to really dig in your ass about this shit and the shit that you pulled. I really just want to keep it cool and I want to I want to ask you questions and I want to really fucking get some answers. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to really be cool about it. The jacket, I feel like you're really disrespecting, homie. You really need to take that shit off. I'm not disrespecting nobody. Yes, you is, bro. No, yes, you is My because it's what you try to portray. It's what you try to portray. She's outside right now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mom's outside. Yeah, but she doesn't know what's going on with my Why don't she know? Because she doesn't live with me. Why don't your mama know what you... Come on. Bro. Kelpie, Kelpie, Kelpie. What? I get it. This is where you wanted to land. This is where you wanted to be. This is This is... You wanted to be on Front Street. Fuck it. Even if these niggas roast the dog shit out me, he ain't give a fuck about none of that. You think he cared about how we was disrespecting him? Hell, people in the comments or people who made comments cared more than he did. He didn't give a fuck. He couldn't wait till it was over. Oh, well, when I told him, man, I told him, use a bitch. Oh, well, does this mean that the interviews is just done? Yeah, fuck out my face. Oh, okay. They didn't even take the headphones off. He tripping over shit. You know, I felt bad for the kid, man. I really did. He's a child. But he needed this chopping. He needed this chopping. I will stand on that one. He needed that chopping. This ain't about gang banging. This wasn't about being a gangster. This wasn't about being none of that. Niggas know what niggas know. And what we know is... He's not going to do this. He's not, he's not going to do this. I don't want to listen to that shit no more. I don't even want to listen to that shit, man. Like, this shit... It's garbage. It's garbage, homie. Shit, I can say that. It's all, it's all, shit was all garbage, man, from the start. It was all garbage, man. And I just hope this don't get him beat up in the future or like hurt in the future. Like he, Cause I know how this internet shit works, man, and it just gets worse. I don't want him to be out here like Welvin and he's scared, like, cause motherfuckers taking off on him everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause that shit happens. Let's be honest. Like, I, I don't want to see that for him. Shout out to Welvin wherever he at, man. They done scared that that boy. This kid, he done admitted, man. Hey, yeah, I got a little bit of brain trauma. So he not thinking right. Niggas start hitting him in the head some more or something like that. It's going to get worse. I don't want to see this for, for this boy. I got love for the youth. Nigga, I don't want you to go through with anything. I ever even a piece of what I've been through, nigga, because I swear to you, it, man... It had your ass looking at yourself, man, and not in a good way. You wouldn't even be able to handle it, even a piece.
Even a fucking piece. That's why this shit kills me, man. This shit's a, it's a mockery now. Some shit motherfuckers weren't even interested in. Y'all never even heard about nothing of anything. Y'all weren't even paying attention. I can say I've helped change the dynamics to this shit. Now everything, this shit's a fucking melting pot. But I just want y'all to know, I'm gonna keep my recipe the same. Traditional. The way I started it. But I'm going to say this. No, we ain't going to keep saying 19 years old, 20. No, fuck all that. Because that nigga going to jail with everybody. Let's not do that. Come on. He's cool. Ain't nobody doing nothing to that boy. He did that shit to himself. I never condoned that. I never invited that boy. He went and did that all by his, man, all by his lonesome. I never put that boy in any of them, none of them shoes. He did that to himself. I wasn't even in the same city. I ain't know what the fuck was going on. Yeah, he shouldn't have did that, man. He shouldn't have disrespected the suspect. And there was already like some back history. That's what I'm saying. There was already kind of a problem where there wasn't no respect. Now he's over here calling bitches and shit. That shit already was dynamite. It was already sitting C4, custom, waiting to happen, waiting to explode. Christmas special. Come on. It was already ready to blow. Kelpie was going to come back on different time. And that's what happened. He came back on different time. And love and peace and happy holidays to Kelpie and his family. Met his mother. If that was his mother, very nice lady. Didn't really look homeless to me. But I get it. Whatever. Guess there's different levels, like he says. There's different levels to everything. To Pippin, to the game, to life, and to how people live. I guess there's different levels to all the... Yeah, there is, but... I mean, damn, bro. It just it looks hell out of context for you. The lady didn't look homeless at all. I thought that was very disrespectful. And like he said, she don't know what's going on. She don't even know the conversation that we're sitting in there having right now. Or at that time. She don't know. She don't know what's going on. He admitted it. Blatantly said it. Everybody looks over that. He blatantly said it like, yeah, she doesn't know anything that's going on right now. He said, man, I, don't, I really don't want to involve her and I really don't want her to know. Like, come on, what are you talking about, bro? She's about to know if she goes and watches this shit. And everything else you try to leave a fucking trail on. Like, come on, bro. I'm giving it to you on a fucking platinum platter. Fuck silver. And motherfuckers still don't be listening. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, this I can already tell. You're just playing. You've watched my shit. Eh, other people, like, and trying to take that and try to mold it and mutate it to what the fuck you wanted it to be. But that shit came out to be mush. Stop playing, bro. Stop doing that. What the fuck are you doing? I'm, I'm tired of seeing good kids 
try to go down something that ain't even really for them, something they don't even need to be doing. I am doing, hey, sounds like to me, I'm doing community service. Let me do mine. I'm cleaning the streets up. With motherfuckers that probably ain't supposed to be out there. He's playing. So let's get him out. And that's love for him. Hopefully we see him in the next five years. Hey, man, he owned him a small business. He's doing something different. Trying something different. New venture. Yeah, put your music out. Do what you do. But we're not going to let you get on fakely. You're not going to do that. I can't accept that. Not on this. If you want to ping pong it on something else, if we want to erase all this shit. Let's erase all of it. Let's just say he got on to something else. Okay, I'm cool with that shit. I'll watch it and nigga, I'll cheer the fuck on. But we ain't going to accept this shit. This shit's an error. This shit done turn cold red. It's not happening. We're going to alter that shit. That shit can get sent up the block to something else. Y'all can accept them on whatever the fuck y'all want to accept them on. Gang banging, music, fucking I don't give a fuck bashing his head against the wall, making TikToks. I don't give a fuck. Take that shit. But this right here, I'm not going to let it be a mockery and just think and motherfuckers just think that everybody can go and get on from that. Because you're playing on people's lives when you do that. And that's the truth. Not accepting that. And, you're, and I'm not going to allow him, a young kid, to exploit that. That's not right. Even though the shit we already did was hella wrong, <laughs> I guess, you know? I'm not going to let him exploit it, man. You're not going to exploit that, bro. That's black exploitation and laughing about it. You're right. That's not racism. That's black exploitation, what you're doing. And you laugh about it and think the shit's funny. Let's be real. That's black exploitation at its finest. That's exactly what that is. And for the people that want to take advantage of that around that boy around him, that's not cool, homie. That's not cool. Fuck that. And that's what I think Almighty meant by blackface. It's in a sense of blackface because it's black exploitation. Everybody knows if everybody wants to sit there and put in code and code that that's something that black guys do. Let's be real, man. Come on. That's what they say it's known for, right? It's a black guy's game. Why do you think they frown on it and fuck it up and shun it and curse it? Kelpie could be a G. I don't give a fuck about that. Kelpie could be a G or the letter E. I don't care. He ain't the letter P though. Remember that. And I'll stand on that. I don't care about none of that. That's not that's where people keep getting this misconstrued. And everybody's trying to gravitate towards that. You got the gangsters trying to gravitate towards that. Like, oh well, and he even saying, Oh, Almighty ain't on no gangsters. That ain't what we even I even set you down for. Remember, I brought you. Big difference. Nobody else. You would have been struggling over there, boy, on soft fight underbelly. But I brought you to sit you down and let's get it out. Man, come on. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. I brought you to really try to air it out and tell the truth. Like, yeah, no, you're right, Sharp. Probably would have made a, a, a better story for you. Like, yeah, I was just trying something. 
I thought it was fun. Damn, I really got on from it. Shit, it really wasn't even me. I was playing a character, but you didn't want to say that because you know that's not going to really get any play. So me saying that, I can't say that. Then I'm landing on fucking Sharp. I'm on, I'm on Sharp Hank. I'm sitting here with Sharp. Almighty sitting over here like niggas is, I, I got to stand on it now. You ain't got no choice. And now you start to think about it like, damn, maybe this boot camp really ain't for me. Should have made you cry in the car, Kelpie. Telling you, church, and that ain't no disrespect to you, man. I'm just saying, I don't really stood for this shit. Been through this shit, cried through this shit, bled through this shit. I don't, I don't, I don't touch some things, homie. It drive your mind crazy. You don't know nothing about nothing. Just stop. Just stop. I don't like that. You're not gonna make a mockery of it. I can't. I can't allow that. My, my body, my mind won't allow it. I can't, man. That's why I say I, I don't disrespect you as a man. Like, I want you to make it and succeed in life, man. But you're not going to do this. You're going to tell the people the truth. You're not going to keep telling different fucking stories and different interviews and things like this. We can't allow this. We can't allow this, man. I don't care what he does and anything else. That's somebody else's problem. That's somebody else's jurisdiction. Whatever the fuck. Go ahead. Hey, man, take that. He didn't cross in your line. That's cool. Ain't got no problem. But he over in this zone right now. And it's troublesome. He's got to go. Like I said, I had to clear that up with the Orange County joint because it was like, motherfuckers was like, oh, man, what are you saying about OC? Hey, man, I've been through Orange County. It's cool. They played all through there. Hey, man, it's, it's all love. But for him, I know he was living very nice. I smell it on him. Can't you? I thought we could. If we from the streets, I could smell it on him, homie. Let's not play dumb. But everybody just wants to grab that clout like it's something to grab against. Going against the grain, even if it's something that's true. And we just laugh at it and we just fucking keep moving. Because that's what we're supposed to do. It's exposed. Let's keep moving. Not make it more. That's the problem. Listen to what I'm saying. We make it more instead of us just laughing at, okay, it's exposed for what the fuck it is. Leave it for what it is. We make it more. The people, we make it more. Come on, man. Come on. Say, Sharp, you are an employee. Okay, that's cool. Say what you want to say. My boss, man. Always gonna be. <laughs> you fucking fool. You fucking fool. But I still love you. I make you my employee. Why don't you come on? Make you my employee. Probably make you a little bit more money than what you're making already. And I'll just put you on the pile. I ain't talking about no game or nothing. I ain't what we talking about, man, podcasts and things like that. Make you make some more money than what you're probably making now. Stop hating when you want to really come participate. Simple, I appreciate you for being up in here, man. Navigating through the comments. Number love, church. Got no issue with you. All I can say is for real. I'll be hearing I'll be hearing your shit, man, for real. You do a lot of hey, I'ma be real, church. You do a lot of motherfucking reviews on me. I just want my back end cut. Let me get my back end, church. Come on. Let me get my bread shit. I'll you can do them all day. Shit, I'll send you some juicy shit, man. Some shit you can really move on. <laughs> For real, man. Just talk to me. We get the bag right. We get the bag right. If we baby, we just playing podcasts right at the high play. Let's play the game then. Let's get some bread. Done with this shit, man. I don't even know what else to like even say about this shit. I, I really don't want to say anything about it.
This shit's just dumb. It's it's remarkable. It's this shit's a fucking joke. And everybody know it. But everybody like I love that shit. Nobody's got anything else to do. It's crazy as fuck. It's crazy. What we do, man, at this point. That's how I know the world's about to end, dog. Like, this shit's gotta be crazy. Like, this is what we're accepting. Like, this is this is it. This is yes. Like, yeah, fuck that. Why not, Sharp? You're hating. Like, let that shit through the door. We like that shit. The fakery and the fuckery. Why can't you just get through the door just being yourself? I respect that shit. I respect it just you just being you. That's not you. That's something you built off YouTube. Nigga, it's like Legos. Like, like nigga, you watch some fucking little fucking bullshit to where like took a bunch of Legos and just made something, nigga. That's cool, but that shit's not it. Smoking on that Zushi, man. Tenko. Niggas know the truth. They stand with me. Damn. Just notice we got uh, 1,278 people up in this motherfucker. Moving. Look, man. Love y'all. Cherish y'all, man. And let's remember to be, hey man, real recognize real. Real recognize fake. Don't play yourself. Love all y'all, man. Till again.